Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is very exciting because we're getting a kitten. So about uh, probably a week ago, we decided that we're gonna get a little kitten for Isla because I'm a cat person, I love cats and we feel like she's at a good age. She's very good with animals and I just want her to grow up with a pet really. So me being me, once I've set my mind to it, I'm very impatient, I'm like, go, go, go. So I initially wanted to adopt a kitten and I went to loads of the local rescues and inquired and there was a couple that came up, but the issue is, is that they don't like to place kittens with young children. Like one of them was like no kids under seven. So I have basically found a kitten that I've gone, I haven't gone with a breeder, I've gone with someone that it just seems like their cat's been caught out and um, is having kittens and um, we're just gonna get one of those. So then, yeah, I um, I like to rescue cats, but this, I guess this is the second, like, best option is, you know, someone's got a cat and they got caught and pregnant and they need to get, get the kittens home. So we are now going to go to pets at home and get all the cat stuff. I'm going to take Isla with me. I don't really think she knows what's going on. This, uh, we did view a different kitten yesterday and she was absolutely excited by it. But that's not the one we're going for. We're going for one that's a little bit older um, and ready to go now because as I said, I'm impatient. But also I saw him and I fell in love with him. Um, and he, all of his brothers and sisters are gone. He's the last one left. Um, someone's meant to take him, but um, they, the person let them down. So I saw him and I thought, he's gorgeous. He's a black like tuxedo cat. I've had one like that before. Um, so yeah, he's lovely and I can't wait to get him. Isla's really excited in the back there. So I just got to pets at home now and I just wanted to jump on here and just clarify. I know I said that I was being impatient in my last clip, but it's not like I've just decided randomly to get a cat and I'm rushing into it. I've wanted one since we moved into the house last June, so nine months ago. Adam, he's taken a bit more persuading he's not a cat person um i've grown up with cats all my life so that's why i want to get one now for like my family and isla and he was like can we at least be in our home six months before we get a pet and i was like okay that's fine six months and then around that time isla was just in that little bit of a phase where i just didn't know if a pet was the right it was the right time for her i didn't want her to be grabby or anything like that when we before we moved into our house when we we're waiting for it to be built isla did move in with my parents and we did have a cat but obviously he was a bit of an older cat so he could get away from her and stuff but again she was fine with him but i just didn't want to get a kitten where we're in that situation where she doesn't really understand if i say gentle hands or don't touch or put down or, or things like you know don't disturb the cat he's sleeping whereas now she's now she's going to be too soon she understands that and when she saw the cats yesterday the kittens yesterday she was very gentle and i said no don't pick up and she didn't and she was very cautious and i feel like it's a better stage now than it was so i'm not rushing into this um, I've had cats all my life, as I said, I've wanted one for ages and it was only last week that we officially decided, right, it's a good time, let's go ahead and start looking for a cat. So we've just got back from Pets at Home and I thought I'd just show you what I've got quickly. So I've got this little kit and litter tray so it's not as deep and a little shovel and some bags and stuff. Just a mat to put the food on. Got a little bedding blanket for him. And this cat toy which looks quite fun. I thought that can be entertain and it's got like a scratch on it. And then I've got a few toys. So I've got like this fishing stick. I've got a ball. Some little rat toys, this little toy as well. Um, I just got a couple of little bowls for the food and water. More toys. Um, little kitten treats. I've got my spot on, so that's for the tapeworm. And I've got my flea drops as well. Um, some kitten food, um, these are biscuits. A little collar for him. Um, cat food, I got the shredded stuff, this is a kitten one, 
his little bed, little scratcher, some sensitive and soft um, knitted stuff, and some more biscuits. Um, I went to Pets at Home, and this cost £107. If you sign up for that app, you, I got a 10% off my first kitten shop. I got a month's free um, spot on uh, the flea and the worm stuff if I sign up for their subscription, which is £10 a month, and I thought bargain. So I got that for free. Um, I got these biscuits for free because they had a voucher for them as well. Oh, yeah, and I've got this. This is my cat carrier. Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? And that was like £20. But, yeah, this whole lot, £107. So litter tray is all set up in our utility room. I've got the food here on the mat and the little uh, scratcher post in the kitchen. The carry box is ready to go. And then in the living room, I've just got his bed and his toys all ready for when we pick him up. Right, we've just picked up the cat. Isla was asleep the whole time, so she doesn't know we've got him. So he's coming first. Mm. We've just left him in, the, in there for now. He's absolutely gorgeous. And then we're gonna wait for Isla to come in. Um, as I said, she's been sleeping, so she has no idea Cat Cat's here. So she's gonna be absolutely amazed when he's here. What is it? Cat cat. Isla's got a cat cat. Yeah. Rick. Okay, hold on. Wait, can you take your shoes off first? No, don't pick him up. Now yeah, take shoes off. Take your shoes off. Right, ready? We'll open the bag and see if he wants to come out, shall we? Wait, no, you got to let me want if he wants to come out on his own, he will, okay? Because he's only a baby. Do you, oh, be careful, do you want to go get one of his toys? His toys, do you want to go get his toy? Do you want to go get his toy? It's for you, yeah? Do you like him? What's his name? What's the cat name? Cat Cat Toy. Cat Cat Toy, yeah. What should we call Cat Cat? That is so annoying. <laughs> Do you turn it up? No. Oh, be careful. Watch. What should we call him? I don't, do not touch him. What should we call him? Is his name Rocco? Is his name Rocco? Is his name Ralph? Is his name Richie? Is he hungry? Hungry. Hungry, yeah, he's eating his dinner, isn't he? Hungry, yeah, hungry. Look, watch, look, can you see the cat cat on there? <coughs> Butch, it's more of a dog's name, darling. Oh. 
structure. Good morning guys, it's pretty early. Um, I woke up at like half five this morning. Um, I'm looking pretty bad. Um, I was getting a bit worried about, I think we're gonna call him OB, like OBI. I think that's what we're going with. I'm gonna start using OB and see if that sticks. Um, we've got a few names in the bag, but I like OB. He seeks an OB, what do you think? But um, as you can see, we gave the cat food out yesterday and he just wasn't eating it and I was getting a bit worried. And then I was Googling some stuff and they were like, oh, the bowl might be a bit high, might be irritating his whiskers. Um, oh, so that was chicken. So I thought I'll try a different flavor. So I got duck out for him today and put it on the flat plate and he is, chowing down on it so obviously it, it was probably the bowl that was irritating him rather than the um the food itself because you know duck and chicken is damn really a difference but he's really eating this so i'm really happy that he's eating now because i was getting really worried because he hadn't eaten in like 12 hours but he's chowing down on that i've just taken the silver bit out here um but i'm gonna put water water in the silver bowl, I'm going to put some water in this bowl, maybe some water in this bowl, just to see kind of like what he likes, if he doesn't like metal, if he tries drinking out of plastic, because he hasn't really drunk either, um, I may even try and see if I've got a saucer bowl to put some water in and stuff, and I'm just, just to make sure that he's getting enough, but these are quite wet foods, so he should get some, some water out of them anyway. So I think I mentioned this earlier, when I went to Pets at Home, I got this um, flea and then tapeworm. So I'm just gonna do his his flea now. And then I've, he said, to, the guy in the store said to wait three days and then do his worming. And then I signed up to the prescription, which is 10 pound a month for kittens. And I think every month they send the, the flea in and the worming to do. I think when the cats get older, they need it like every three months. But I wanna get a start to get that done. Um, and then, I'm going to book him a vet's appointment um, and just get his. Come on, then, boy. You want to come up? And then get him, uh, what's the word, vaccinated. So he'll have his first set of vaccinations now, and then the second set of vaccinations like in a month, and microchipping. Um, I will get him neutered when he's old enough, I think that's another few months. Um, and then just get a general health check for him, get him registered at the vet, make sure he's all well and happy. Yeah, but he's he's such a loving boy. Like he's really quite good. He was a bit nervous obviously when we got him, well, we brought him here, but he's quite good at being handled. He loves cuddles. He actually cuddly with us last night. He likes to explore, he likes to play. He's a really good boy, aren't you OB? What do you think guys? Do you think AB? AB the cat? Yeah, is your name AB? Alright, let's do your sleeve. So my camera's really bad at focusing at the moment, so I don't know if that was actually in focus what I filmed. But I just given him his flea treat. Are oh, you gonna drop that on? Be careful, it's a big jump. There you go. Um, yeah, just giving him his flea treatment. Um, he's a bit of a wriggler, so it went okay. So I'm just gonna make a note that I've given it to him today. And then three days. I'm oh, going to the toilet. Okay, give him some privacy. We just have a little little guy in his little tray. Um. Yeah, so in three days' time, I'll do the worming. So bye-bye, Obi. Come on, we've got to go nursery, Isla. Isla, well, he'll be he'll be here when we get home. Yeah, come on then. Oh, she doesn't want to leave him. <laughs> oh, right. Finally, come on. Are you playing with Obi, Isla? Oh, does he like his balls? Yeah. Yeah, what's his name? What we call him? Can you say Obi? <laughs> yeah, oh, that's 
Barbie's toy. Who's <laughs> that? Is that you? Is that you? So I am currently working from home today and this little dude has not left his mama alone. Um, yeah, this was what he keeps doing is just perching on my shoulder or just walking across my laptop. So um, he, he's, he's written a few weird messages to people, <laughs> put a few weird meetings in my diary. But yeah, he's um, he just will not leave me alone, will you? <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed this different but really exciting video we are so happy that we have our newest addition to the family here he's currently asleep on my lap i'm working and he hasn't left me alone all day today he's i think he's really happy he's been purring and he loves cuddles and just sitting on me he wants to be with me all the time he's just following me around the house all day but yeah i'm really really happy i definitely will be doing some more cat or pet related videos i'm going to be doing a few hauls because i want to buy some items that really go with the decor of my house like his bowls and plates and trays and things like that and i'll definitely be doing a video around how how i've introduced a pet with my toddler and boundaries and things like that so please do give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already any support means the world to me and i will see you guys in the next video goodbye <laughs>